Matt. And this is Katie, and this is Movies and Mischief with Matt and Katie. If you're one of our regular viewers, then welcome back. We truly appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the fun house. Katie and I are a married couple. We watched a movie for, on our first date, and we haven't stopped since. Almost 16 years now, the two of us have been a pair and, uh, yeah, we love watching movies. We love talking about those movies. And that's exactly what we do on the channel. We watch a movie and then we turn right around and we give you our unprepared, unfiltered opinion of said flick. We tell you what we liked about it, what we didn't like, whether or not we think you should watch it. And we give you our final thoughts on the film. So with that being said, tonight we're going to talk to you about a movie called Our Friend. This is a movie that's currently streaming on Amazon Prime. Casey Affleck, uh, Dakota Johnson, Jason Siegel, um, and that's pretty much it. Those are the three main stars. Uh, Casey Affleck and Dakota play a married couple. She um, is diagnosed with cancer, and Jason Siegel plays their best friend, Dane, who basically gives up his life so that he can move in and help them deal with everything that comes with dying from cancer. Katie, what'd you think of this one? This one wrecked her, folks. It really did. Um, <laughs> it really did. She's not going to be able to get through this review <laughs> without crying. No. Um, it is a gorgeous movie. It is a very slow movie. And I loved every slow second of it. It travels back and forth in time from 2000 to 2014 through their friendship, their marriage, their children. It is a movie about everything. It's about marriage and friendship and mothers and daughters and fathers and daughters and beginnings and endings and how those things can happen at the same time. It's an adult coming of age movie. It mm -hmm. is one of the most intimate movies I have ever seen. And it was, it was beautiful. What do you think? I think you're a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? All right. I, I love this movie. I'm with you too. Uh, the, the thing that I think is really sad is this is a movie that was supposed to hit theaters in 2020. But it was another one of the many films that were affected by the pandemic. And I I want people to watch this movie because I agree with Katie. This is a beautiful, heartwarming, heart-wrenching movie. And what I really enjoyed, I mean, I kudos to Jason Siegel, because I've never I've seen him do kind of pseudo-serious roles before, but there was no there was nothing really comedic about this no, performance. I mean, he's a naturally funny person, but there was, I mean, the yeah. character, but all of it was very grounded. There wasn't any, ha ha, I'm going to be a funny guy now. It was it all was very just real. Very, yeah. It was so, it's, this was a really good movie. Really and good I movie. And I kind of feel like more people will probably see it than would have because it's a very specific kind of movie. Yeah. And you know, if you saw the trailers, which we saw the trailers at the time and even said at the time, oh, I really want to see that, but that's going to be a hard one because you know from the trailer that, that she has the cancer and that we it's We knew it was going to be heavy. Yeah. So it's definitely one you kind of have to be prepared for that kind of an emotional journey before you take it. And I feel like a lot of people aren't going to do that at yeah. a movie theater. This would have been very hard for me to watch in the movie. Theater. Yeah, I think, no, I agree with you on that, but I think what's kind of sad about it is it's not, it didn't get the kind of attention I think it deserves. Yeah. Especially from a performance. I mean, of Dakota, Casey Affleck, all of them. I mean, these were like Oscar worthy or BAFTA worthy performances. And I think from a directing point of view, I just thought this was this it was paced perfectly, it was put together perfectly. This is one of those rare films I would put into my perfect movie category where there's nothing I have there's nothing bad. There's nothing I didn't like about it. It was just really really good from beginning to end. 
Yeah, I think I agree with you. You know? There and wasn't that really is a very short list. Yeah. Very short list. Usually I can pick out something that I didn't like about it, but there this movie there just was I think nothing. Maybe only flawless. the Green Mile is on that list for me. Yeah. So I yeah. This is just one of those flawless movies and I absolutely loved it. And it's one of those that I would tell everybody watching, take the time to sit down and watch it. Now yeah. That be being ready. said, be, be ready. This is not a light date <laughs> movie, okay? There are there are actually funny moments in it. There, but are. there are funny moments in that way that if you have that funny friend or are that funny friend or are married to that funny friend mm -hmm. that just has a knack for saying the right thing, you know, without being a clown all the time, without yeah. trying. They're just a naturally... That's the kind of humor you get. It's not... Right. It's not a light movie. No. There are those kind of very sweet, cute, funny moments in it, but it is a heavy movie. So yeah. just be prepared. But yeah. it is absolutely worth everything. It's a beautiful, second. beautiful movie. And I loved... I loved how it kind of focuses on the friend who gives up his life to help these people but it doesn't take anything away from you're you're basically seeing the entire struggle through the friends yeah but through you're, the friends you're eyes. invested in all of yeah them. you're invested you in all of them care about all of them you watch him kind of grow i mean he's always a good person but he's got problems. But you watch him grow up. He's lost. Yeah. As they all are at different times yeah. in different ways. They're all kind of running away from different things at different times. And But yeah, this was just a really good yeah, movie. Yeah, it really is. Honey, what are your really final thoughts? Is. Oh, God. My final thoughts are... Life is short and long... And the only thing that really matters at all is the love in it. Find it, take it, accept it. Just let it in. That's all. How about you? My final thought is <laughs> her. That's a good one. <laughs> Just. Could you just pay attention to your loved ones, pay attention to your wife, pay attention to your kids, because you never know what can happen and when it can all be gone. So don't take advantage of that. Don't lose sight of that. That's my final thought. So now that we've depressed the living <laughs> hell out of everybody, we're going to let you guys go. As usual, please remember to subscribe to the channel, comment, let us know what you if you've seen the film. Or give us your ideas of maybe other films you might be interested in getting our, our thoughts on. And with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys to have a nice weekend. And we're going to go watch something hilariously <laughs> funny. Yes, please. Bye, guys.